Well, right, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back and uh, Jasmine. All right, so the triangle, we're below the triangle and uh, this is the drop to the downside, a retest. Right now, this is the time of the moment where we're going to know if Jasmine has what it takes to go back and win the match. Or is Jasmine just going to go down into the flush and then we're going to know if Jasmine doesn't have anything uh, in its own store right now. Got a little bit of a double bottom right here, but then again, you know, so many things are there. For me, this is uh, a triangle uh, with a technical target to run down towards this area. Now, this is a very difficult trade, a very, very difficult one. And I'm going to tell you why it's a difficult one, because um, at this point of time, it's anybody's it's anybody's, you know, it's it's anybody's field. It's anybody's game, actually. So what I mean by anybody's game is that you've got some few reasons for Jasmine not to even go down. Number one is the demand box. One touch, push up, one touch, push up. One touch here, push to the upside. Another touch there, can't even push to the upside. So that's the reason, number one. Uh, that, you know, people might say that Jasmine is not looking to drop down. The second thing is um, you have a triangle here and you got the reason for Jasmine to actually go down there, which is a technical target of that triangle. Still makes it a difficult trade somehow to take Jasmine because you got this um, reason as well. Number two, or maybe number three, is actually that You've got the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, and we're actually just waiting for the pop to the downside and come to this particular technical target, which I want to buy. This is, you know, for me personally, I'm always looking forward to see if Jasmine can actually make it all the way down there. So basically, I want to know I really, really want to know if Jasmine can make it all the way down to 2000 to 1600 level. This for me is a really, really, really must buy opportunity for myself. If it does come down there, of course. Now, this shouldn't demotivate you for from buying or from holding. If you're a hodler, if you're a long time buyer, I'm not even touching you. I'm not touching your bags. I'm not touching your investments. You're absolutely free to do whatever you want to do. You're, you're good. Maybe for the long term, I might say, you know, I'm giving you that pass. Okay, amazing long term. But buying opportunities for me is different. Everyone has a different buying opportunities. Because uh, as a trader, I'm always looking for discounts. If I get a discount for Jasmine down there, I'm definitely entering into Jasmine. And I'm definitely going to kill it down there. So here we are. Let's talk about the weekly time frame as well. The weekly does have a some sort of a dragonfly right here that uh, still isn't invalidated so we we kind of need to see the dragonfly being invalidated down here and perhaps when you do come down and take the lowest part of the dragonfly then you're potentially looking for that even way more bigger drops for jasmine in the future so that's pretty much it for this quick one uh, right now on the four hour time frame I'm re we really got to see if we're going to get rejected here so we are at the retest again breaking down you're still coming back to retest that line once again and could be de time to actually drop even lower but keep in mind i still think that if you make it all the way up here to this line then the the, the move to the downside could be invalidated we just don't want to see a wake up and then go down we need a cl a proper closing above these levels so that's pretty much it for this update i'm going to see you the next one love is